Hey, Jack, how's it going? Hey, Bree. I'm in love with my speaker. It's my know-it-all. Hello, know-it-all here. I love this thing. It can play songs. Coming right up. It can play audiobooks. Let's see, we got sci-fi, romance, mysteries. It even keeps my shopping lists. Looks like you are out of eggs. Yeah, that's why these things are so popular. But you may want to pay attention to how it's paying attention to you. Wait, what do you mean? Every time you say the wake word, it records what you say in an effort to refine how it works. Wow, I never thought of it that way. Sometimes it may think you say the wake word, and then it's going to start recording too. Know it all. Know it all here at your service. Is that true? Well, it sure is, Jack. Can you believe it? I never would have suspected that just saying something similar to the wake word can activate your smart speaker to start listening to you. Do you really know that much about me, know it all? Well, of course, Jack. In fact, just the other week, you started listening to a playlist called Bagpipes, Accordions, Kazoos, and the People Who Love Them. Bagpipes are an underappreciated instrument. Are these recordings a violation of my privacy? You actually agreed to all of this when you clicked through the privacy policy it's set up. You sure did. Got it right here. Bree says that using a smart speaker is like browsing the web on your computer. It's not really private. What you say to the smart speaker is going to be collected and stored by the company that made it. Bree also says there are some simple steps consumers can take on the app connected to their speaker to limit what the smart speaker can gather. Let me show you how to look at your history and then delete recordings if you want to. Some smart speakers let you delete them either one by one or just your entire history at once. See, some speakers allow you to control whether your speaker sends information back to the company to help improve their AI. So you can go to your app on your smartphone and just turn it off. But keep in mind, this might affect exactly how well your speaker works. The truth is these things learn and improve by listening to you. But honestly, the easiest way to control what your smart speaker hears and what it doesn't is to just mute it when you're not using it. Fine, I won't listen. Good to know that I can mute this thing when my know-it-all might know a little too much about me. Nobody likes a know-it-all anyway. Thanks, Bree. Know-it-all? Know-it-all here. Play my bagpipe playlist. Ooh. If you insist.